I had a bad experience with class that makes me not want to go back to class. Really? Yeah. So uh, I learned. Would you be willing to talk about it? Yeah, I could talk yeah, about it. Yeah. For sure. Uh, so basically, what happened was. I had to pay up front for the class. Yeah. And I'm in high school, and I gave them basically all my money. Damn. All my, I think I paid $400 up front, and they wanted like $1,000 by December, and it was like September. And I'm in high school. I had to pay because my, my mom wasn't going to pay for me because mm-hmm. it was my decision. Back in Minnesota? Yeah. It was my decision and everything to join this acting class. And turned out, like I think it was a scam, bro. So ever since that experience, it's just like every time people bring up acting classes to me, it's like. Kind of like a. PTSD type kind of in a in a way and um I'm more of a visual learner anyway mm-hmm. so I mean yeah acting classes you can learn visually but it's just from that experience it made me not want to join or pay for another class so did you never actually have class I did go to class for four weeks I went for four weeks but it was a program where they said that after this um acting classes are up they're gonna prepare you and after that, you're going to do a showcase. And then after the showcase, you should get an agent yeah. or something and be on like some type of show. And I didn't make it that far, obviously, but it's just, I, they just kept taking my money. I was like, I don't think this is, it didn't feel right. Yeah. So I left. So I guess what, what, uh, I'm just trying to understand what didn't feel right. Cause they, you still had class though? I had class and was all, it like all bol- I learned, like, all I remember learning was Slayton. So That's you it. just knew it was bullshit, is what you're saying? Kind of, in a way. It felt like it, bro. It was just, I didn't feel like I wasn't learning. I didn't feel like I was really growing. All that, all that we did was slate, and then tell us to learn lines, and come back and say those lines in front of the class. We got judged on it, and then we go sit down, watch someone else do it, and then we go back, and then do the same thing the next week. That's yeah. what it was like. And I was like, I can honestly, I can do this myself. I yeah. can learn lines my own. And... um and I learned through my experiences on emotions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like I tell people now, I think life is more of an acting class to me than being in class. I feel like you can learn more in life and from life experiences or seeing people as you're walking around. It's huge. Yeah. yeah. I think you got to learn how to apply it. But that really is. That's mm-hmm. what I've learned in class is basically yeah, trying to take your life and apply it yeah. to these scenes. So, mm-hmm. um. Do you mind if I ask who that was in Minnesota? Yeah. Do you know? Do you remember who it was? That's all good. I think I called like John Robert Power or something, bro. Okay. So something like that. That name and yeah. Ever since then, I was like, ah, um, it's too bad, bro. But I'm always open to learning. Like if there's, if I'm like, let's say, filming an audition, mm-hmm. and there's another actor in the room that obviously knows more than me because I'm still learning. I'm gonna listen to that person. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna like, okay, like I didn't do that right, or I got to show this more emotions, or I got to be more into character. You know, so I'm always still open to learning and taking crit- constructive criticism from other people. Yeah. Especially if it's a film. If it's a film that I did and I didn't do a good job, let me know so I can be better in the mm-hmm. next film. So I think, honestly, bro, like, I, that's how I learn. That's how I get better. That's how I am. How That's how I made it this far yeah. in acting by learning from my own failures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would, you know, as a friend, definitely say give it another shot maybe mm-hmm. but definitely yeah be careful 100 percent. oh yeah definitely because be that can happen and, and especially i've talked about this a little bit before on here too with i forget who it was but um i feel like somewhere like minnesota and even minneapolis is pretty big compared to a lot of other places around the country but yeah. i feel like it's really easy it would be really easy there for someone to take advantage of people like that because there's not that many talk people there talking about uh, like acting classes like right. out here obviously it's everywhere that's everywhere. a huge part of the economy so yeah. back in Minnesota or somewhere else in the country where it's just not a part of like their daily life or economy you know I feel like there's a lot of people there uh, who could get sucked into something because mm-hmm. that's the only person they can find who's even talking about that Facts. and then they, yeah, they want money up front so you gotta be definitely be careful and yeah it was definitely a learning lesson you know yeah. I, I count it as a blessing because I learned yeah. from it um, it definitely wasn't an L. I learned a lot from that experience. Yeah. Man. What's up, guys? Thank you for watching the video that you just watched. Uh, if you liked any video that I have put out, or again, the one you just watched, uh, please subscribe to my channel as I have a new episode coming out every single week with new clips coming out every single week as well. Uh, and I'm not stopping. So if you enjoy this, 
enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed what you just listened to, or anything else that you have watched from my channel in the past, um, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.